Welcome. Today I'm going to depart from my usual electronics videos and do one about trying to repair my shades in the office. So this is a leveler, uh, cellular cordless shade. It has no cords. You pull it down, it kind of stays where you pull it. Looks nice. My house came with them, but as we will see shortly, they are not very reliable. They break very easily. And they seem to break very often. So here's a broken one. As we can see, it's down. It doesn't go up. It's got a little bit of spring to it. But that's about it. So the first tip I have is don't buy these. They're junk. There's a bunch of plastic parts up in there. Some metal springs that aren't uh, hooked in very well. There's all kinds of comments on the internet, people complaining about things broken, about having to take long times to send them in to get repaired. I would avoid buying that kind of shade. Wouldn't buy that one again. Now let's see what we can do to hopefully repair that. So I've already done some work tearing this thing apart. Uh, what we'll find out, move this down to where it came from. Uh, when we open it up, this little cartridge will be in there. It snaps in, so it's kind of wedged in under there. You'll have to take a screwdriver and kind of pry at it. Then you wedge one under here, wedge one under there. And eventually you'll be able to snap out the white cartridge. Flip it over, and we can see that we've got some problems with some springs. Um, let's see, can we see this well enough? Yeah, so this spring here, for example it is sprung and come completely off of uh, this wheel. This other spring over here, it's harder to see it, but it also sprung and came off the wheel. Uh, this third one I've already had taken apart and uh, started uh, trying to repair it, but it was sprung similar to these other two. So we can see what happened. Three little springs, all three springs were not attached properly, popped off the wheel, and they're not springy anymore. Now, to get this thing apart, they kind of just push apart. So if you just push with your fingers, get that one off, then you can take out this cartridge, and you can take out this cartridge. And see, it's kind of wanting to spring a little bit, but we can see, see right there, you know, it's, it's came loose, it's not attached. So we're gonna have to try to figure out how to fix that. So the first thing that I'm going to do when fixing it is I'm going to try to get it to uh, rewind itself on this roll. As far as I could figure out, the things are not actually attached to the rolls at all on, on this one pop-off roll, but they're just, uh, they're just on there by friction. So we'll wind it off of the geared roll onto this... Uh, turning roll. Got to be a little bit careful because it would like to all uh, spring apart and go flying apart. It's under a little bit of spring tension. So we're just winding from one on to the other. here into the center of the camera. Trying to avoid spring going wild and ending up all over the place. Almost there. There, we're about at the end of it. Get to the end, we'll push this little cartridge back 
in so it snaps in place and now we've repaired this one so as we turn it there's spring tension on it working uh, as designed the other thing to note and it's uh, it's kind of hard to see and I'll probably uh, try to take some still shots with the camera but this this spring it has a long skinny a long skinny part that sticks out and goes through a hole on this gear wheel and that's important because that's how it attaches to the gear wheel now the third cartridge over here that long skinny part of it is busted off no way to attach it into the uh, the gear wheel so I don't know how we're gonna maybe I'll try to cut it down with Dremel or something maybe we'll see if it'll function off of just two of these it certainly seems like the easiest thing and then we're going to repeat it on the uh, the third one as well so I fixed two of them I haven't messed with the broken one yet because uh, it's more than I want to get into today the next thing I think we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to wind because we uh, we don't want any we want the spring on it when it's all the way down so we're going to want no spring on it when it's all the way up so I think we have to take these things we're gonna to have to wind them up and we're gonna to have to try to get it more or less equal so they have about the same amount on each one that's not gonna be super easy to do so I'll just take and wind them by hand Okay, so after I uh, assembled the cartridge, I wound up each spool individually, and then I snapped them onto the track. And we can see the blind is now working. It's working quite right because we're, we still, uh, I didn't bother to put one sp uh, spring back it together that was broken. But maybe we can call it good enough so I can actually have blinds again today. And we take this thing, it's going to be kind of a pain, but we've got to get it snapped back into the track. There we go. Blind is working again. And here is the broken blind uh, reinstalled back on the window. Whatever I did, it doesn't go down all the way, but it goes down about that far. And back up again. <laughs> 